the Banu Defender. It is fast, it is nimble, it has Xion engine, it has Tavaran shield, it has exotic tachyon weapons. But what the f is up with the visibility? Who the f designed the ship? You can't even see out the cockpit. I am Montoya, let's dive right in. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let's jump right into the Banner Defender, which is a cool little ship. I'm going to tell you why, and we know who designed it. But before we get there, let's take a look at what the latest Jump Point issue said. This goes out to subscribers. If you have a friend who is a subscriber, ask them for it. They'll let you take a look. And uh, it gives us a little roundup of what they actually try to do with the ship. It's a small, nimble fighter, multi-crew, uh, interceptor for Banu merchantmen. Right, so it's going to be small and fast. And as I mentioned before, it has some very cool weapons, tachyon weapons, which are not in the game yet. But let's take a look at some of the stats which came out in this. Uh, length 28 meters, crew of 2, obviously. Medium engine, thrusters 12, so it's going to be maneuverable. Uh, weapons, 4 times size 2 gimbal. So if you take out the gimbal, you can fit th size 3 weapons and 2 size 3 missile Hard points. The shield is going to be a Tavaran shield, which means it's going to be a very strong uh, shield. This is a heavily shielded fighter with little armor, so it is fast and relies mostly on its shields. And uh, as far as everything else goes, you know, it's all up for change, but generally you get the idea of where they are going with this. Now, as far as the design of the ship, they wanted something which is a two-man ship. And let's scroll down to the, some of the concept art now. Now, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Jan Urschel, the concept artist behind this. And if you have not seen his art station before, I'll put the link up below. But there it is. Uh, some very, very pretty work. Obviously, the uh, Banner Defender is the most recent. But check out what else Jan worked on. Yes, Ghost in the Shell. You may recognize some of these scenes. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I will recognize these scenes when I go see the movie itself. So very cool. Uh, give him a look. I'll link his art station below. The other person responsible for the uh, de Defender itself is Paul Jones, art director. Now, Paul, I went onto Google to try to get a picture of you or something. And if I type in Paul Jones CIG... The first link I get is a link to the Death Squadron forums where everyone's bitching about you not liking the color yellow in the airlocks of the Starfarer. Damn you, Paul! Damn you to hell! <laughs> but anyway, let's go back to uh, the jump point. Now, these are the initial concept designs. Uh, they end up going with option C, obviously, but I think we'll start drifting a little towards option A soon enough. Why? Well, let's jump back into the Sketchfab model here. This is the view from the cockpit. Who wants these giant arms blocking the view? There was a town hall on Tuesday, and this was the top question. What is happening with the view? I strongly suspect that what CIG is going to do, or what Paul is going to do, is they will raise the cockpit to about there. Or the arms maybe will swing down underneath, which is why I said I think it starts drifting a bit closer to Model A over here with the arms underneath for more visibility. You know, CIG, Chris Roberts, I'm going to say this because maybe your employees aren't saying this, but Star Citizen is a beautiful game. The graphics are amazing. The planets, the asteroids, the moons. Let us see them. Don't block our view. So maybe no one's saying this to you, Chris, but come on, give us a view. The Starfarer, you know, massive big window. You can't really see much out of it. The Freelancer. Who remembers the original Freelancer cockpit? We had this massive strut down the middle. Get rid of it. Give us views. We want to see it. So, big giant arms. Now, I like the ship. Let me zoom out here. This is how I'm seeing it, okay? This is Sketchfab. I can give you a link to this too. Beautiful. I love this design. I like alien ships. Uh, the Glaive is actually my favorite ship, followed by the Xeon. So, I was very excited for this ship too. I'm kind of let down by this view. But, if they do raise the cockpit a bit or lower the arms a bit, I think they'll make up for it. Looking forward to seeing that happen. Just scrolling down a bit further than the giant point issue here, you see Paul again saying they're very much aware of the issue of visibility. So while everyone freaked out that you couldn't see anything, they know the issue and I'm uh, very confident they will have a solution for it. So right now, you can buy the Defender for $170 if you're buying for cash. It's $185 with store credit. What intrigues me the most are the weapons, and they've mentioned that these will be tachyon weapons. We do not have tachyon weapons in the game yet. These are going to be ultra long range, faster than light projectiles. Uh, so I'm thinking hit scan. Maybe there'll be no lag pip at all, which makes me say yes, because I like the idea of some good hit scan weapons. Obviously, they have to balance that. I'm guessing it's going to be either a low rate of fire 
or it's going to be just a low DPS to balance out the issue that you can simply point and shoot anything in front of you. It is a buy in my book. Initially, I said no because of the arms, but if they fix the visibility issue like they said they would, I like it a lot. So, what are your thoughts on the Defender? Are you getting one? Is it shit? Is it a utter piece of crap? Or do you like it like I do? <laughs> Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below and give me your comments. Do you like the Defender? Yes or no? Uh, keeping in mind that this pairs with a Banu Merchantman. So if you own a Banu Merchantman, are you buying one of these? I think you may have to. Let me know. Keep your comments down below. Also, all the links are down there. I'll see you in the next video.